The prospect of a prolonged Israel-Hamas war is already adding economic havoc onto the human toll. Oil prices are falling and have been bouncing around since the war began. Asian shares are lower, jobs in the region have stalled. The high-tech industry here in Israel is seeing a slight fallout with the shekel slumping toward the U.S. dollar. A widening conflict would test Israel's economic resilience while worsening an already bleak outlook for the Palestinian economy. And joining me on this topic, I want to go now to Ithaca in Greece, where I am joined by Dr. Alex Komen, an economy expert at Tel Aviv University. Dr. Alex Komen, thank you so very much for being with me here this morning. Um, if we can try and sum up how, in general, economies are impacted by war and why this is being brought to the fore as such a serious issue. Well, we see uh, direct damage. That's the damage when you think about, uh, like, like we've seen the, the catastrophe in the south, where you see whole cities or villages being burned and destroyed. So this is the visible damage. Then you have the damage of paralyzed economy. And we see an economy which is, to a large extent, which to a large extent resembles the COVID uh, pandemic in the sense that people do not, do not go out, they do not celebrate, they do not have uh, weddings. So, so a whole part of the economy is paralyzed. We're talking about 200 to 300,000 people who are mobilized, so they do not go to work. This is particularly visible in the high-tech uh, sector, which is the locomotive of Israel's economy. So mm -hmm. a, a significant proportion of high-tech uh, workers are now in the military, uh, and so they do not do their, their daily jobs. And you can also see the long-term damages in the sense of small businesses. Israel, unfortunately, does not recognize the significance of the small business. And as a result, these businesses are really devastated. 67% of them are frozen. A third of small business owners say they give the government a, a rating of zero in terms of, of treating them. So this is the, the, the general view of, of the, the impact of war on the economy. And how are, speaking internally with regards to Israel, funds being redistributed in order to aid the war effort? As we've been speaking about, we have 200,000 people that are having to evacuate their homes, needing to go to hotels, which evidently need to be state funded. Obviously, there's also the upgrading of bomb shelters in the north and the south. How do all these funds get redistributed and where does it get taken from in terms of Israel's economy? Well, first of all, um the, the problem is that Israel's leadership, uh, I mean, you cannot use the word leadership in the sense that the government uh, consists of individuals who disagree with each other and who are not competent. In particular, if you think about the Minister of Finance, Smotrich, who not only does not understand economics, but his goals are completely different from what we want. The good news about that is that the original uh, budget was very, very uh, uh, focused on helping religious uh, uh, religious communities mm. who are not contributing to the economy. So if I try to see something, a bright light at the end of the tunnel is that apparently or hopefully, or if there is a God, the money would not go to this sector and would be redirected to the war, to recovering to the people who suffered tremendously. Uh, due to the current attack and people who will continue suffering. And I hope that if the government is actually uh, disciplined enough, which I'm skeptic about, they would redirect the funds from, from this population, from this sector, uh, into, into recovering, into winning the war and recovering uh, from it. And Doctor, just finally, I by no means mean to be uh, equating what's happening at the moment between Israel and Hamas to what's occurring uh, between Ukraine and Russia. Evidently, this is not a territorial conflict. But we have seen the economies on that side of the world seem to almost stabilize a little bit with regards to how long war goes on. Are we looking at, at some kind of, and I say it light, very lightly, but optimism with regards to the economy that it will drop in times of war, but it at some point will stay well, the analogy is, is a little tricky because when you think about uh, Russia, much of the Russian economy is, is, um, is not high tech. It's particularly oil. 
uh, natural resources and oil. Luckily, the prices went up. So this, this to a significant extent, uh, offset the fact, the impact of the war. Uh, they actually, Europe was so dependent that they could raise prices. So basically, mm -hmm. uh, Russia came out uh, rather unhurt by the war. In Israel, this is not the situation. The situation is that tourism, which is a significant uh, component of the Israeli economy, is completely devastated. And I'm afraid that the damage is not in the just in the short term. It's going to be a longer term da damage. I, I hope that the high tech industry would recover quickly. Um, and uh, one one thing that would offset is the weapons industry, which which uh, which will thrive, uh, unfortunately, in the near future.